I'm Justin, DevOps Engineer, and I give Ubuntu 4 out of 5 stars. For more reviews like these, please click the link below. Before I switched to Ubuntu, I was mainly a Red Hat guy. I used CentOS Linux, Fedora Linux on my workstation, and CentOS on my servers. Unfortunately, CentOS is essentially a dead product walking. CentOS has a binary compatible rebuild of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and Red Hat decided to kill it probably because it wasn't making Red Hat a lot of profit. So I switched from CentOS to Ubuntu. I picked Ubuntu because it's rapidly becoming the standard for a lot of different things. If you've used Docker, for instance, you'll find that Docker runs a lot more smoothly on Ubuntu-based systems. There are also systems in general that are just moving more away from the Red Hat style of things. If you look at the stats for web servers, for instance, you'll find that the market share for Red Hat Enterprise Linux and CentOS is rapidly dwindling. It seems, on the whole, like everything is kind of consolidating on Ubuntu. Getting started with Ubuntu is relatively easy, but then I'm a Linux guy. I live and breathe this stuff. I've been doing it for quite a while. So for me personally, switching distributions from Red Hat to Ubuntu wasn't that bad. For some of the other people at my company, it was a little bit less easy because Ubuntu doesn't have the greatest training resources. Red Hat's still kind of the key there. So if you have a lot of Linux guys like me on staff, it'll be relatively easy. If you don't, find some or find some training resources on courses online, that sort of thing. If you're thinking about Ubuntu, don't dismiss the possibility and the practicality of having the same OS on your workstations as on your servers. I used to use Fedora and CentOS, and I thought, oh, that's not important at all. Let me tell you, it's really nice. There are also a lot of great tutorials out there for Ubuntu, but as a former tech writer, I'd be remiss in not pointing out the tutorials on the internet are not the same as professionally curated documentation. Red Hat's still kind of the king there. So you will want to get somebody who's more experienced in Linux on the team to help ease that transition to give access to professional grade training resources that you would ordinarily get kind of standard fare from a company like Red Hat.